Yes, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you very much for joining another episode here on the Life Signatures Radio. It's a daily show where we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. Every working day, you're going to find an episode talking about one of those things. And today, we are continuing to talk about the road less traveled. We've been discussing these issues. We've been saying that if you wanted to know who you really are, and if you wanted to be productive in this life, And if you wanted to grow, actually, you are going to put your feet on the road less traveled. What is this road less traveled? It is a road that is devoid of comfort, devoid of certainty, devoid of all these things. But it's the road that is going to make you to be well acquainted with who you are. If we wanted to discover our purpose, it's not going to be discovered in an ordinary way, normal way. It's going to be always some kind of exertion, some kind of uncertainty, some kind of discomfort that accompanies the process of discovery. And the same thing, if we wanted to grow, we're not going to grow when we're doing the normal, same old. Like if I did what I was always doing last year, where is growth in that? I know there is power in consistency, but where is growth in doing the same old, same old? That's why the road less traveled is the answer to these things. Today, let us continue talking about this. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yesterday, we quite went on a tangent, and it was a good tangent, actually, talking about these things. And we were saying that there are several reasons as to why people don't get on the road less troubled. Of course, the first reason we say that it doesn't have rewards, instant rewards. And I know it's a very, very powerful thing to say it. We, as human beings, always gravitate to where there are instant rewards. How much do we get conned? Because we were looking for instant rewards. And we don't learn. A con artist comes into town and guarantees, okay? That's the, that's the point. That's the key word. Guarantees. Guarantees instant rewards in our investments. And we all go there. It doesn't matter who we are. I mean, we have degrees. We, we are business people. <laughs> We've done great stuff. I mean, we, we have a mind that is working. But just the lure of instant rewards, we lose it. It's not the road less traveled. It's the road most traveled. The second reason as well we don't go on the road less traveled is because it's filled with uncertainty. We talked about this yesterday. Uncertainty. A lot of uncertainty we don't know. We don't know if it's going to pay off. We don't know. No guarantee. That's the key word. No guarantee. There is no guarantee that it's going to work. <laughs> Huh? It's not going to work. We don't know. It might work. We don't know. It's uncertain. It's the road less traveled. And just the fact that some things are uncertain, I have no clue of how many dreams have been stifled and killed because people did not want to venture in the uncertainty, including myself. And yet you look around you. There are very many stories that are, we always call these stories inspiring. At the crux of the matter on all these inspiring stories, 
the root cause or the root of it all or the moral of it all, of it all is someone embraced uncertainty or someone went through uncertainty. There can be no inspiration where there is novel, I mean there is no more uh, ordinary, ordinariness. There is no inspiration in ordinariness. There is inspiration in uncertainty. And today, let us look at one more reason as to why we, we don't go on the road less traveled. We don't go on the road less traveled because it is tasking, it is involving, it is arduous. I think it's a guy who say that people don't take opportunities because it looks like it's dressed in overalls and it looks like work. We don't like that. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, uh, it's a bad thing. I'm saying humanly. As human beings, at the base of who we are, <laughs> we don't like that. We don't like the overalls and, and, and so on. We, we, we've got to get ourselves in the ourselves in the mode, even when purpose is involved. Muhammad Ali was a guy who loved boxing and knocking out people, and loved saying that he's the greatest in the world, the greatest ever. But he's quoted to have said, I didn't like running. I didn't like jogging. But I told myself, let me just go there and stress myself out so that I can become a champion. Let me just have this arduous moment, short moment, so that forever I can become a champion. You see, the road less traveled calls for us to stretch. And stretching is painful. It's not comfortable at all. <laughs> there is no comfort in being stretched. And being stretched, ladies and gentlemen, is not just being stretched physically. It's also being stretched mentally. Let me tell you, one of the biggest and most uninviting kinds of stretching is the stretching of the mind. <laughs> the brain is interesting. It doesn't want us to stretch. But it's the power of our productivity. And yet we cannot be productive without stretching. Why, let me tell you, when you start planning and thinking, huh? you know what happens to you? The brain wants to shut you down. That's when you remember, oh, I need to look at uh, my screens and see how Arsenal is doing. You need to give it a, some kind of reprieve immediately. Some kind of reward, some kind of, you know, uh, what do they call it? Dopamine. Let me give my brain some dopamine. Just because you wanted to plan for the year. It is a tasking. It's laborious. Planning, thinking is laborious. It's one of those laborious things. Eh, eh, we don't want, we, it's not fun. We don't want to get in there. We don't want to look at the numbers and the numbers are not mathing. We normally say the mathematics is not mathing. It's not working. It's not re- numbers are not reconciling. I'm looking at my budget. My budget is like this. My lifestyle and my desire is like here. They are not balancing. It's tasking to be in that mode. Because the answers are not immediately apparent. We want immediate apparent, apparent answers. The road less traveled is so because the journey is tasking. It's thoroughly laborious. It stretches you. It stretches to the core. It makes you overly uncomfortable. And the thing is that you will never give birth to your purpose. You will never grow. You will never become productive if you are not stretched. That's the point. It just goes without saying and that is the road less traveled the road most traveled is the opposite don't stretch me don't overwork me don't make me think huh? don't make me think I, I told you a story of when I was talking to some marketing people I was told to go and teach them some, some stuff and arrogant guys they stop me <laughs> in the middle of my presentation they stop me they say I don't need to know all these things huh? what is these things I don't need to know all this 
if if i mean if i'm out there in the field and i'm doing stuff and i'm stuck i know the numbers to call i don't need to know all these things that's the road most traveled people don't want to stretch they don't want to know they don't want to increase they don't want to be to engage the mind i tell you 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 will think that i have got discovered you will think you'll be wrong you think that I, 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 I think every day you'll be wrong. I want to come to that place where I'm also on that road less traveled. Where I engage my mind and I put my foot down. The things that God has given me to do. Even including this podcast. Can I think? Can I think something different? Can I put my thoughts together? And just be at that crucible, that fire that is burning my thoughts. The discomfort of thinking. I love that word. The discomfort of being in a place where I am thinking and thinking. And even if answers are not coming, I am I am consistently in that place of discomfort. In fact, that's what we're talking about in these episodes, in this series. The consistency of being on the road less traveled. It is uncomfortable to be pregnant. I remember when my wife was pregnant. First time, even the second time. Very uncomfortable. And I know I used to go and uh, touch the, the belly and then the baby kicks. And, and she would say, leave us alone, leave me alone. <laughs> For some reason, when I touched the, the, the womb, I mean the, the, the stomach, the, the baby would just kick. It was uncomfortable for her to be in that particular place for those nine months. But she was consistently there. You understand what I'm saying? She was consistently there and she needed to be consistently there. To be consistent on the road less traveled. At least it's going to give us some kind of gestation period, and at least at some point in time, we're gonna give back to something. Our problem is that we are, I mean, if you look back, ask yourself this question When is the last time you really were voluntarily, intentionally put yourself in this uncomfortable situation where you are stretching your mind, you are even stretching your body, you're stretching your time? When is the last time you did that consistently over a long period of time? It's like a planting season. When is the last time you did that? And I'm talking to myself. It's inspiring to me that I need to go back. I need to go back to that place where you're on the drawing board. Nobody likes going to the drawing board, but it is on the drawing board where we design the future of our lives And where we walk on the path of less, I mean, most resistance. And then we give back to something. The road less traveled is the road that is going to give us rewards. It's the road that is going to give us growth. It's the road that is going to introduce us to ourselves. Most of you, okay, let me not accuse most of you, but some people, They run from one man a God, one prophet to another, looking for, quote-unquote, a word. I want to know a word. What is the word that God has for me? Huh? Let me tell you. Just go on the road less traveled. You will be introduced to who you are. And there you will also find God as a partner. That's a quotable thing. Go on the road less traveled. You want to be acquainted with yourself by a prophecy? I mean, you just want to to stand there and your name is called and then words are uttered and then you're like, ah, It doesn't happen. And the problem is some quack prophets have discovered that's what many people want and that's what they're selling today. People do not want to be on the road less traveled traveled they want to be on the road most traveled the road most traveled you are introduced to who you you think you're going to be introduced to who you are just without any effort the only effort that you did was to show up 
and then oh, a word of God came to a prophet and so on and it he mentioned he called you out and, and said I saw you you're wearing a pink dress and you're like how did you know man of God it's nothing novel in there brothers and sisters go on the road <laughs> let's travel and you'll be introduced to who you you will be well acquainted with who you are you will know what makes you afraid what makes you smile you know what makes you tick every single day you know what you love you know what you're passionate about you know what how strong you are and then you'll know how much you need god to help you anyway tomorrow we we'll continue talking about these things until then bye bye <laughs> Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.